are tremendous sacrifices. I mean, I, you know, once I started speaking out, my family came under tremendous attack. Um, I wound up um, uh, being divorced from my, from my, uh, from the mother of my children, um, and it was again, it's not, it's not a game. I mean, my, my, um, what I always like to say is. I'm not a church history expert, but I know that when the early church was established, blood was shed. You know, we're pioneer missionaries, and we're not going to shed blood. I doubt I'm going to be shedding any blood for what I'm doing, but my life will come under tremendous attack. And what I like to speak to, to, to people when, when I'm called to that are from other parts of the country and don't quite understand the media missions field is we need their prayers. We need their warfare prayers. I read every single morning. Um, a single spaced one of three single spaced spiritual warfare prayers, or I can't even walk out the door. But it's not a game, um, and uh, and it's a it's a it's a significant calling. And there's no question that the suffering that I've had to endure, I think a lot of it is 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 because of the calling. But again, the Lord makes all things work together for good, and it's and it's so obvious and so unbelievable and his love endures it's it's an incredible opportunity because of the suffering to really see God work because you know I can't and he can every single day so in the end it's it's it, it, I mean it, it, it's okay I understand the the genius um, of suffering in that you know in that sense